this chapter, I want to go through the creation of a Linux VM with the use of keys so that we can SSH into the Linux VM using a private key. So the first thing I'll do is to destroy the resources that I have. Let's wait till this is complete. So once this is complete, now let's make changes on to the current configuration file that we have. So what I'll do is, let me scroll on top. What I'll do is I'll also just remove this data. We don't need the cloud in it for this. I just want to show you how you can create a Linux VM using keys. I'll scroll down and also remove the custom data. We don't need that. Let me scroll on top. So what I've added is the creation of a private key. I've given the name of Linux key. And here I want to take now the private key and I want to save it as a local file. So after this configuration file has run, it's going to create a private key with the name of Linux key in my temp directory. So on my local machine. Now I need to scroll down onto the Azure VM. I can go ahead and delete this. So I don't use now password authentication. Now here also remove the admin password. And what we can do is we can take this for the SSH key. And let's place it here. So what is the username? It's Linux user. And here for the public key. So what happens is that you will use a private key to connect onto the Linux VM and the public key will actually be stored on the Linux VM. It's a combination of this public and private key that is used for authentication. So here we have to take now our private key dot Linux key. So I'll just scroll down right dot the linux key dot we need to use the public key actually and here it has to be the open ssh right i'll just save this now i need to ensure that i add a dependency on the linux key this is important so i'll just save this so once we have all of this in place, let's go on to our terminal. Let's create a plan. Now over here, when I created the plan, I could see there's an inconsistent dependency log file. So it asked me to do a Terraform init upgrade. So I did that. See, what it had to do is it had to also get now the TLS modules that is actually used for the creation of the private key within our configuration file. So once that is in place, again, I'll just clear the screen. Let's create a plan. This is done. Let's hit on apply. So let's wait till this is complete. Now, once this is complete, so again, if I go ahead and refresh all resources, so I should be able to see my Linux VM. Let me go on to it. I'll copy the public IP address. So every time a new public IP address will be assigned onto this machine because we're creating the public IP address again. Now here, let's connect onto our Linux VM. Let me clear the screen. Now, if I do a directory listing. Here I can see that I have the Linux key PEM file in place, the private key file. So we can now use this to connect onto our Linux machine. So what I can do is I can use the I flag to mention that key. Then I can put 
the username Linux user at the rate the public IP address let me hit on enter so saying do you want to continue connecting I'll put as yes now it's saying that permission is denied it's saying that the permissions for the Linux key are too open now if you're working from a Windows based machine what you need to do is so I'll go on to my temp directory yeah let me go on to that particular file I'll hit on properties yeah I'll go on to security I'll go on to advance here what I'll do is first I'll disable inheritance so here I'll click on remove all inherit permissions from the object I'll hit on apply and I'll hit on OK. Now here I need to go back onto advance. I need to add some users. I'll just select a principal. So I'm going to select my current principal which I have on my machine. This is basically my username. So I'm not showing the username here. So I'll put full control. I'll hit on OK. So this will just basically be the username you have on your laptop, which you're logged in with. I'll hit on apply and then hit on OK and then hit on OK here. Now let me just clear the screen and let's try this again. And now we are connected on to our Linux virtual machine. So I just want to show you how you can make use of keys if you want to log into your Linux VM.